Yo what is going on guys, Flashverse here and welcome back to another video on Spider-Man No Way Home as well as the whole MCU and the Sonyverse in general and for today's video I'll be going over a big teaser for The Amazing Spider-Man 3 which is actually coming from Andrew Garfield's stunt double himself but also I'll be going over some multiple reports suggesting that Andrew Garfield will be reprising his role as Spider-Man in Venom 3 and how we could potentially end up seeing him as the Spider-Man of the Sonyverse. Now this video does contain spoilers for the post credit scene for Spider-Man No Way Home so if you guys haven't seen the post credit scene or if you guys haven't seen the movie in general I suggest you guys click off this video right now because I'll be going over some major spoilers which you certainly wouldn't want to hear from me. And also if you guys go on to enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so you are aware of more MCU videos coming your way. Okay, so during the post credit scene of Spider-Man No Way Home, one thing we obviously saw was Tom Hardy's Venom in the MCU. So we see Eddie Brock chilling in a bar in Mexico and we have this bartender talking about these various different characters such as this man in green, that being Hulk. He has also mentioned Thanos and as far as I can remember he did mention Iron Man as well. But due to the spell Doctor Strange casts during the end of the movie, this results to everyone from across the multiverse who knew that Peter Parker was Spider-Man going back to their own universes, which sends Tom Hardy's Venom back to his universe, that now being the Sonyverse, if you will. And yes, he does leave a trace of the symbiote in the MCU to obviously set up Tom Holland's Spider-Man getting it during Spider-Man 4. But yeah, we did have the other villains going back to their universes as well. We obviously had Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man returning to their universes, all of which as we know are from the Sonyverse anyways. But since we saw Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man going back to his universe and we obviously saw Venom returning to his universe, what if they could potentially be setting up Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man being part of Venom 3? And this could actually be a setup for them maybe fighting each other or just sharing a movie with each other in general. So yeah, across the internet, most specifically Twitter, we have been getting multiple news outlets talking about the possibility of Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man being part of Venom 3. Now let's face it, and this is in my opinion, as soon as Andrew Garfield Spider-Man entered the screen during Spider-Man No Way Home, he stole the show. He absolutely stole the show and he knocked this role out of the park in my opinion. Um, I personally think that he carried the whole entire third act of the film. Um, after the release of Spider-Man No Way Home, more fans began to show a lot more appreciation towards Andrew Garfield's take on this character and a lot of fans have been demanding for Andrew Garfield to return to the role in the near future as Spider-Man. Now personally for me, I would love nothing more than to see that. For those who don't know, Andrew Garfield is my favorite Spider-Man out of the three, so it would be really cool to see him return and if they are to make him return, this is how they could do it. Now we do obviously know that Kevin Feige and Amy Pascal have announced a second trilogy for Tom Holland's Spider-Man and they have very recently revealed that they are in early stages of development for Tom Holland's fourth Spider-Man film. And it is fitting that Tom Holland's Spider-Man does get a fourth film judging from the way Spider-Man No Way Home ended where we have Peter being you know more grown, more mature and more alone and he basically buys his own apartment and he designs this new suit which has been inspired by the other Spider-Man where essentially he finds out that they've built their own suit without any of these, any of these fancy tech which he had in Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man Far From Home, Infinity War and Endgame. He had all these fancy nanotechnology and stuff like that but now Tom Holland Spider-Man with this new suit is pretty much now the classic friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. He takes inspiration from the other Spider-Man and he designs this new perfect suit with less tech on it, just showing how much more confident he's become as a hero and how much he's grown as a hero as well. So I do really like this idea. But the way they could handle Andrew Garfield Spider-Man and Tom Holland Spider-Man is like this. So they could keep Tom Holland Spider-Man in the MCU, which would make sense because he has been an incredibly well-established character over there already. So it's more fitting that his story continues within the MCU. Otherwise, it will just feel like some sort of a reboot and it would just mess with canon as well, which is something I would not be a fan of. So yeah, they could keep Tom Holland Spider-Man part of the MCU, but what they could do is use Andrew Garfield Spider-Man and they could essentially use him to expand the Sony-verse 
And what better way to do so than to make Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man part of Venom 3? Not just that, but their interactions will be hilarious and very entertaining as well because the Sony vs Venom has been established as this incredibly terrifying yet hilarious character and out of all three Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield's take on the character would best fit this universe. Not only does he get serious when he needs to, but Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man knows how to make people laugh, he knows how to make fans laugh and I love his version of Spider-Man where he cracks jokes in the middle of fights, so he would be really well fitting in Venom 3 if this was to happen. But moving on, now talking about the Amazing Spider-Man 3 teaser. Now obviously for those who have Twitter, fans have been absolutely bargaining for the Amazing Spider-Man 3 to happen. It's literally been trending for a while, it didn't break any records or anything, but it's been trending for a while. And this is not to throw shade at Warner Brothers or anything like that, but Marvel actually listened to their fans, unlike Warner Brothers. Like for example, hashtag restore the Snyderverse broke records with the amount of tweets it got under 24 hours, and they just ignored it. With Marvel, we had the Zemo cut from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, it barely trended, yet they saw that fans wanted to have it and Marvel Studios released it instantly and it's not even been a week. This shows that Marvel Studios do listen to their fans. Now yes, I do acknowledge the fact that the Amazing Spider-Man movies as well as the Venom movies are not part of the MCU and Marvel Studios is behind the MCU, not the Sony movies, but... Sony also listened to their fans as well because we had this incredible movie filled with fan service which is none other than Spider-Man No Way Home and in this movie not only did we get past villains returning such as Green Goblin, Doctor Octopus, Electro and so on, we also had all three versions of Spider-Man sharing the screen together and it was absolutely insane. So if the fans want The Amazing Spider-Man 3 to genuinely happen, I am pretty sure that Sony and Marvel will do their best to give it to us. And this would be really cool because we would be getting the best of both worlds. We will be having Tom Holland's Spider-Man part of the MCU finishing off his trilogy, and then we can have Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man story continuing in the Sony-verse. Now this is something very interesting, but earlier today, we have this fan probably trolling, but he's on Instagram and he goes on Andrew Garfield's stunt doubles Instagram account and congratulates him for getting the call to work on The Amazing Spider-Man 3. And Andrew Garfield's stunt double responds with, thank you so much, pretty much hinting to the fact that he accidentally confirmed that The Amazing Spider-Man 3 is happening. Obviously he could be trolling, but this wouldn't be the first time he's done something like this. If we go back to Spider-Man No Way Home, he was actually the one who pretty much confirmed that he was part of the movie and that's how we found out that Andrew Garfield was going to be part of this movie. But essentially what he does is that he posts a picture of himself on set, we don't know what it's for, but he then tags Tom Holland's stunt double as well. Now obviously, they could do two very different things with this storyline for this film if it was to happen. One way they could kick off this film is to keep us right where we left off from the ending of The Amazing Spider-Man 2 with the battle against Rhino. And obviously, no one wants to see the awful storyline for what would have been The Amazing Spider-Man 3 if Spider-Man was never going to be in Civil War. So one thing they could do is start with the battle against Rhino and then maybe get some sort of a time jump and then we could get this new story to actually begin with a whole different plot and we could see him struggling with the death of Gwen Stacy. Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man did also mention that at one point, and this was during Spider-Man No Way Home, he stopped pulling his punches which suggests that he went down this dark path and actually ended up hurting and potentially killing villains so that would be a very interesting plot to explore in my opinion. Or the other thing they could do is that we could just get a massive time jump from the ending of The Amazing Spider-Man 2 where we continue with this version of Spider-Man after he got sent back to his universe after Spider-Man No Way Home. So after Doctor Strange cast a spell, we could kick off after that took place but in his own universe. And what they could do over here is that they could actually set up Peter getting this new love interest and that could obviously be Mary Jane Watson. They could bring Shailene Woodley back for the role if they wanted to and they could just have like this whole new plot, another villain and it would just be really cool to see and I would just love to see this version of Spider-Man's story to continue, especially after Spider-Man No Way Home.
But yeah guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe. Be sure to tell me in the comment section down below if you guys would love to see Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man return. And be sure to tell me as well if you guys would like to see The Amazing Spider-Man 3 happen. Or if you guys would like to see him appear during Venom 3. I'm interested to see all of your thoughts towards all of this as well. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.